Ed Sandy Field for Acme District Baseball between Ottawa Glendorf and Liberty Benton. Bottom one scoreless when A.J. lifts singles on a hard grounder past the first baseman. Trevin Lieb comes home to make it 1-0 Eagles. However, that would be it as Mag is going to catch the Eagles looking on the inning ending strikeout to set the table for the Titan offense. Top two, Titans get the offense going with patience as Warnicky walks with the bases loaded touch and home is Steck Schulte tied at one apiece. Two batters later, the nine hitter coming through is Jaeger with the sack fly to center field. Coming in to score is Leopold as OG takes the two to one lead now. And we head to the top of the third now, Simon. The grounder that gets by the first baseman who's charged with the error as two runs come in to score. Stack Schulte and Lift both touching home to make it 4-1. to one. Titans go on to win 12-5 to five to advance. Game two, Adelaida in the loser's bracket. Van Wert taking on Liberty Benton. Top one, Bush picks up a couple strikeouts as he catches the Cougars looking. Then on the swing and miss to end the inning. However, bottom half of the frame, Van Wert's Briston Wise would match with two of his own. Wise with four strikeouts on the afternoon. Wise then would help out his own cause. With a single to left field, that would bring in two as Trevor Halker and Finley Dickinson both touch home, making it two to nothing Cougars, beating the relay at home plate there. The same inning, Van Wert getting it done, this time with the patience as Case Stegman walks, bringing in Nate Gearhart from third, three to nothing now. Cougars then unload the final blow as Aiden Davis with a double on a liner to center field. That'll clear the bases as Ackerman, Stegeman, and Wise come in to touch home, and Van Wert survives to advance with a 12-1 victory. More Acme baseball in Miller City with the Wildcats taking on Lincoln View. We head to the top of the second with two runners on as Seth Brandt. Hits a grounder to the left side, bringing home Miles Moody on the RBI single. Lancer strike first. It's one to nothing Lincoln View. Now to the bottom of the third, the Wildcats with the bases loaded for Brendan Barlaghi, who hits this ball to left field, giving time for Will Otto and Brent Koenig to come home as Miller City then takes the 2-1 lead. Now later in the third, Jared Neese hits a ground to the left side. He's out at first, but that does allow C.J. Lehman to come home for the run as Miller City scores four times in the third to go up by three. We head then to the bottom of the fifth with two runners on. Barlaghi once again hits a grounder to the left side for another Miller City RBI, bringing home both Koenig and Lehman right behind him. Miller City goes up 6-1. to one. Next batter is Nice, and he's going to get another hit, a grounder up the middle to bring home Barlaghi from third. Miller City advances with a 7-4 victory. Second game of the night at Miller City features St. John's taking on Patrick Henry. We head to the top of the second. Patriots up 1-0 with the bases loaded. Landon Johnson smacks a grounder to the right side, and that hit is going to clear the bases to bring home Cal Schrader from third, then Grant Schwab from second behind him, and finally Lane Jackson all the way from first. Three RBIs on the triple by Johnson to put Patrick Henry up 4-0. Now to the top of the third. Patriots up 5-1. Houston Miranda hits a grounder down the left field line. St. John's trying to handle it out in left field. Miranda gets to second, but the throw it there is wide, so Miranda turns on the Jets. He'll then race home for another Patrick Henry run. On the errors, the Patriots go up 6-1 to one and complete control at that point. Now still in the third base is loaded for Lane Biedertis, and who bloops one to left field. That brings home Mason Chardon. From third, Schrader from second on an RBI double to make this an 8-1 to one ball game. Now Johnson up to bat again. He sends this down the right field line, allowing Schwab to come home safely. Another run scores. Patrick Henry advances with a 19-2 to victory. They'll play Miller City tomorrow at 6.